Okay, here's... <laughs> I, I watched... Uh, okay, Frederick Knudsen, who... <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. You know what, Chad? I don't think. <laughs> um... Hold up, hold up. <laughs> I don't think I'd punish. You know what? I, I agree with Chad. That wasn't enough. Um... Wait, hold up. Where is it? What is this? What the fuck is this garbage? How do I find this? Aha! Oh my god, when I type in Frederick Knudsen Owlboy, I just find clips of me. Okay, you know what? Here we go. I don't know how else to find this video without going to this. Here, I'll remind everyone who Frederick Knudsen is before I talk about him. I have to do like a, like a dive into my own chat. Here we go. Yeah, this is it. Books are a replacement. I'm sorry, I have to flagellate chat by watching a VTuber clip as someone suggested. The human mind could never achieve. How can I understand this place if I do not suffer the same limitations? The same temptations. Histories of Egypt. Histories of Rome. Individuals of import. <laughs> well, you regret your suggestion to have me watch a VTuber clip? How could this be? You guys, you guys love VTubers. You guys are, are so into the anime. I'm watching a very popular VTuber right now. What, what do you mean? This can't be a, a rift? What did I miss? Sorry, that's me from the past. Let's go back to the present. Uh, Frederick Knudsen had stopped putting out videos on um, his main channel, which is a documentarian channel called Down the Rabbit Hole. I'm sure everyone knows of it. Um, he did a lot of long-form videos about really niche subjects that nobody had ever really talked about before, and he, he struck kind of like algorithm gold. Uh, his videos are pretty well-produced, well-researched. He has a very neutral, like, you know, easy, easy to listen to voice and shit. And it's just like, it's not a... It was a pretty good channel. And then he stopped putting out videos for like two years. And he kept promising to his Patreon supporters donating monthly that he was working on an EVE Online video. And the video comes out and it is six hours long. There's almost precisely six hours long. So, um, I watched all of it. Um, I put it on 2x and I listened to all of it and I watched most of it um, and I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out how to sum up my thoughts it, the issue that it has is that um, it's a video game I know that sounds weird because it's a story about a video game right and even a story about a video game can be interesting but it has to have real life stakes um, and it usually, even about his stories about fiction, it kind of involves, um, the real people involved because if there's no stakes, there's no interest to the story. And this video is kind of unique in that it doesn't have like a, I would say like, I think in most of his videos, there's like a main character whose story you follow and uh, he doesn't really have that for this. The the closest thing to a main character throughout this video for for six hours is the um, the the group by something awful called the Goon Swarm or the uh, I can't remember the name of it. They, they had some other name, but basically it's just the something awful users who eventually broke off of something awful and disowned low tax and something awful. But they're still called the Goons. They're, they were there in the very beginning in like the alpha and they're still one of the largest corporations in evil online goon fleet whatever I don't know what goon swarm is. I always call it goon swarm because that sounds better than goon fleet anyways goons are like the something awful players are the main contingent and they don't break up at any point throughout the entire video they start out very strong and they remain very strong throughout the entire the entire series. Um, and by the end of it, at the first, it's kind of interesting because, I don't know, the back background, I didn't know, I, I've played EVE. I've never got super into it, but I've casually checked it out every so often and just stopped playing 
because it, it's not that interesting. But um, the background of the, of the company is like kind of cool, and then the formation of it is kind of cool, and then like up until the the high point of even 2013 where they're talking about multi million dollar battles and all this shit and the weird um corporate espionage where like a bunch of guys pretended to like e-date a woman who ran a corporation and then bankrupted the company for like multiple trillion isk and stuff like really weird social engineering tricks for fucking video game credit like completely fucking over people's real life like that's that's where it's interesting and then after that it becomes less interesting the game is dying and then it kind of cements into it a status quo that's never broken so they they keep upping the ante and there's like serious stakes where people are like throwing away their lives and like actually getting jobs in the game the game company to try and get an edge in the actual game then they get found out and they get fired and shit like they're fu really fucking up their whole life to play this game and then afterwards it's just so like well, we like own like a third of the entire universe and we have all these titans. Do you want to have like a little war? And they're like, yeah, bro, let's have like a little war with each other. Let's like let's throw all of our millions of titans at each other. And like, oh my God, that's like a $20 million battle. All of our spaceships, if you add the value up, it's like $20 million. We have so many spaceships and content. It's just like, it's not interesting. They're just fighting each other because they need, they have nothing to do because the game is like stalemated. You can't even follow the, um, the story of the company because the company is created it's a basement project of a bunch of bunch of weirdos from iceland and then they like the company explodes in size there's no like common people who are like the face of the company and then the company gets sold to the korean guys that own the black pearl online or whatever the B, it's like bso it's a really popular like traditional mmo um, and so then it's like, it's just like, it's owned by like a Skinner box group and shit. And it, it's just the, the, the game has no soul through it. It doesn't feel like it's like a actual story of like a real universe that has like all these conflicts and stuff. Um, it's, it's like a bunch of nerds who've already had like sunk cost fallacy where they've spent 40,000 hours over 20 years playing this shit ass fucking game now owned by like a bunch of Korean guys. And they're like trying to have something to show for it. So they just randomly go to war with each other for the sake of it. And then he, he just concludes like, well, and the game is still the exact same way it's been for the last 10 years today. And it's still ongoing. Thanks for watching for six hours. Bye bye. It's like, well, that's not really much of a story. Like, okay, so it, it, continu it continues forward and it's less interesting than before. And there's not really an ending because it's just a video game. Um, it's, it's, it's just a really narratively unsatisfying story. And I think the reason why it took two years to make is that he realized that there's nowhere to end it. There's nowhere to end it. The closest thing that comes to like a main character is this guy called Matai, who's like the owner of Goon Fleet. And he's just like an unlikable dickwad, but he's kind of like an unlikable dickwad by design. Like he he's trying to play like a world wrestling heel where it's like, I'm the goon swarm man. And I call myself the emperor of Rome, like Caesar and all the, the people who are playing this game need to hate me. And so we have content and he's like trying to write a story. And it's just like, bro, you're just like some fucking guy. Here's what would have made it interesting. Okay. Uh, here's what I made it interesting. If the guys uh, who played the game hated Mitani or Mittens, as he's sometimes called, which I thought was cute. If they hated him so much, they literally went to his house and broke all the bones in his hand with a baseball bat. So he couldn't play evil and lie anymore. That, that would be a conclusion. Like, and then after the goon swarm won the war, the owner of the other guy came over to his house and broke his fucking hands one by one with a bat, with a hammer, with a ball peen hammer. And now he's serving 30 years in, in, a, in a Tennessee prison for it, for assault with a deadly weapon and uh, kidnapping and torture. That's how you end the story, but it didn't happen. Nobody beat the fuck out of this guy. He's just still writing posts about how he's Kaiser or some shit. So yeah, it's, it was boring. I, I Again, I think that the main reason he didn't release it for so long is that he found it difficult to work on because it wasn't a compelling story and he knew it the entire time. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC Adolfo. Remember to like and subscribe.